Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support, being able to resonate with each other, being able to know that we are not going nuts and we are not alone. And, you know, all of us can be able to send vibes toward you towards each other through this beautiful community so with that being oh excuse me with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video if you are comfortable enough please go ahead and drop me a line or two i'd love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacts your life and heading you towards positive direction also if you feel like the videos give you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one family or friend or even a fellow empath that are going through some really trying times right now i'm trying to see if they're they need validation or confirmation towards their journey in life please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you once again for the love and support it is greatly appreciated and i love y'all from the bottom of my heart and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, this beautiful meditation I'm listening to in the background is called Divine Energy, 726 Hertz, Awakening the Divine Within, Quantum Awareness Meditation Music. And I will go ahead and place that link in the description box below. And the video I'm doing today um, is like a part two. Uh, Pink Libra Moon gives you renewal to new opportunities coming into your life. Uh, coming in coming into your yeah coming into your life I thought I messed that up um and I will paste post that what am I talking about post that in the link below anyways y'all I'm been all discombobulated that's another thing I've been going through it's just all these different shifts got me like huh what oh yeah well I meant to tell y'all my first because I just did the ailments and stuff like that I've been breaking out like again like if you know if you've been with me since last year you know how i had that bad rash like it, i had purple spots going all up and down my legs now i'm like if you see all these little red marks that's going up and down my arm it's like and it hurts so bad like i don't know because i know it's not like mosquito bites or anything like that because it's been raining too much for me to be outside so i haven't been able to take my nature walks like i want to and it's just really been aggravating i'm getting cabin fever but it's just like, you know, going through all these different shifts that you're getting, you're probably receiving a lot of downloads, a lot of visions of things that are showing you purpose to your life, you know, because it, 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 it can be a messed up situation when you don't know what you're supposed to be doing here. You know, what is your purpose? What am I supposed to be doing? Am I going down the right path? Am I doing enough for myself? Am I doing enough for the world? Um... Am I, if, am I ascending towards the my wants and my needs that, you know, I need to have in my life? You know, you're having all these million and one questions in your head. And it's just like the universe is giving you that renewal of, of your, it's like a soul renewal. Being able to receive all these different downloads, visions, you know, you're probably having vivid dreams where you're like, huh? You know, you got to write them down because, you know, they could be incognito. <laughs> about the things that are going on in your life that you truly need to pay attention to you know you're probably having all those vivid dreams and it's trying to tell you about the next steps in your life you know things that you need to pay attention to or you know things that you need to you know stop engaging in you know pay attention to your circle um like i've been having these dreams about me up underwater seeing a lot of things and it was just like it, it makes me feel like things are overwhelming me you know since it's just like i'm going through so much right now and trying to find that you know that peace in my heart you know i really am you know because i tell the universe i'm doing all you asked of me you know and it, they're just saying but you you haven't let go of everything you need to let go of and i you know i'm really trying to do that you know but when you're in a human form you know it's hard to get rid of all those things that you fi you figure that you thought you have, you know, let go of, but you're, there's still more of that residue still there. So it's just like, I've been working on that. So it's just like, you know, I get aggravated with the universe. It's like, you know, I'm doing everything you ask. I'm doing all these things. But then it's just like, 
Yes, you are, but there's a lot of things you need to pay attention to in your life that you really need to, you know, set yourself free from. You know, stop being in that prison of uh, pain and tra trauma and sadness when there are so many things that are heading your way if you can just let go of these things. And I was just like, you know what, you're right. <laughs> you know, even though sometimes I used to hate corrective criticism, now I'm just like, you know what, I take heed of that, take note. You know, if they're telling you you need to let go of stuff in your life, go ahead and do that. You know, a lot of times other people will tell you the same thing, but I just feel like that's a good thing too. But if they have never experienced that, they, you know, it's just like if you could go some, you go through something in life. Now, I can tell you what, this is the universe telling you this. I'm not telling you this. You know, if, you know, universe tells me to tell you something, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I said, I can't tell you from your personal experience because I've never been through that before. So I can't tell somebody you need to let go of this, you know, because I've had people be very insensitive to me about my situation and tell me, I said, if you never endured this, please don't try to give me, <clears throat> give me no advice about something if you never had, you know, had to go through my encounter, you know, so I just go ahead, you know, I take, you know, I take my corrective credit criticism with a grain of salt but there are certain things I tell people you know look if you haven't been through this before please don't give me your advice on it you know because it's just like when y'all come at me about your situation there's no way if I you know if I have never had to deal with something like that I'm like man I don't know what to say you know I said just you know I just tell you take one day at a time you know do what you need to do but as long as you're trying to heal yourself, you know, you're trying to see the bright light out of the midst of the storm, you know, that's all, you know, just do what you need to do just to get yourself in a better place, not be stuck in that darkness. Because there's a lot of times we, we get stuck in a prison where we have the key on the outside and we all we need to do is push the door open. There's sometimes we're like that, you know, you're trying to reach for help. And I've seen metaphors like that where I see visions of you know, crying at, you know, at a gate where I feel stagnant or I feel stuck because you, you're trying to use old methods, old methods for a new outcome. You know, you can't use the same old things that you've been doing to get yourself out of situations when this is a whole new different ball game. You, you know, that's when you get stuck on a certain situations. So it's just like, you can't do, oh, excuse me, you can't do the same old, you know, remedy for different situations that you've never experienced before. You have to be able to try something different, try something new. And these are the reason why we're going through so many shifts. You know, we went through the spring equinox and then we had to go through the Mercury upgrade and then we got to go through the now the pink moon Libra. You know, and I know there's another one coming up, I think on the 20th. I don't, I don't know. I got to really look. Cause I'm just like, you know what? This is so much. This is a whole lot of, whole lot of, you know, that we got to deal with. But, you know, all these changes that we're going through is going to bring out positive gifts for us. You know, I do get those visions. Like when we finally can see why we had to go through the things we had to go through and why was it so hard. And I tell y'all, the reason why this mess is so hard, because we, we're breaking that generational curse. You're going to be that person that breaks all these things. That's the reason why things are so daggone hard for you. That's why things is coming at you long ways. They, if you ain't got negative people coming at you acting crazy or sending you negative BS, you know, this is the reason why it's hard. You know, you, you're cutting yourself off from a family that you never thought you'd be able to cut off from. You know, you're, you're cutting people out of your life or people dropping out of your life that you thought you were going to be friends with forever or family with forever. You know, I, I mean, it's just bad. I, I, I mean, my circle's so small, I talk to myself. You know, if it's not somebody I'm engaging with here, or I met in a positive platform. I, you know, I have there's a couple of people that I met in a positive uh, group chat, you know, on Facebook, and they're truly a blessing to me. Uh, my girl Brenda, you know, she has really helped me through a lot just with her positive posts. We don't actually engage in talking, but it's just a post that she put up that I could be totally resonating with, and I said, sis, I really needed that today. Thank you. And you know, and she sends me beautiful vibes, and I do the same for her. So it's just like, you know, there's a lot of people that are out, out of your life. And it's just like when you ask God to, you know, take people out of your life that's backstabbing, that's not good for you and all this and this and that. Don't be surprised when everybody start dropping out your life because this is the things you ask for. But don't go running back to something that God pushed you away from. So all these different things that you're going through, you're finding new opportunities, you're finding a new platform, you're finding a new circle, you know, then when you're finally being able to resonate with different people, 
there are all different types of walk of life. You know, I, I, I mean, I got so many of y'all, and it's so beautiful. I have a beautiful, colorful family. Got people in New Zealand. Got people in different parts of Australia. Got people in Turkey. I got people in Germany. Got people in Japan. I got people in India. Got people in Iraq. Uh, coming from so many different places is so beautiful to me you know being able to learn everybody's different cultures and knowing the things that y'all go through is truly blessing a true blessing to me oh if y'all have been emailing me i'm sorry if i haven't got back to y'all yet but I'm, I'm really going through some stuff so you know when i get through that through the calmness of the storm i will get back to you because i know there are some people i meant to talk to because they sent me some emails and I did not get back to them because I had some stuff going on. I was like, oh shoot, I never uh, replied back. So trust and believe in a few days I will apply back to you, reply back to you. But yeah, going through all these different things that we had to go through, it's truly been a blessing. Being able to see the things that you need to be able to see. You know, if there's people that you really, you had to be on the same level. You know, and it's just like, it's a beautiful thing when I can get when I can actually talk to somebody who can feel where I'm coming from I'm like you know what I'm going through some stuff too but you know when they're actually sending you know positive vibes towards your way you don't need somebody who's going through some stuff and is just you know negative Nancy all the time because I, I, I have friends like that and I had to block them I said you know what I love you but I've been trying to send you positive messages I've been trying to tell you know you have to be able to accept the love for yourself and you get offensive when I tell you that I'm like look I ain't got time for all that <laughs> you know I tried with you but you know I guess you're gonna have to fall and bump your head on your own for you to really truly know that this is what I'm talking about I, I understand your pain but you have to be able to love yourself in all different levels so it's just like all these different things we're going through for a reason I know a lot of things have been hitting you like left and right coming out of so many different directions and you are mostly mentally spiritually it's probably sexually exhausted you know all these different all these different levels you you've been experiencing so much exhaustion and you're trying to stay positive, trying to stay afloat, and trying to ask God, you know what, I don't know, you know, God, universe, whoever you, you, you pray to, you know, you're trying to stay afloat, you're trying to stay positive, you don't understand the road they're trying to send you on, but you're just trying to keep on going, you're taking that leap of faith, you're heading down that road that even though it's unknown to you, and yes, it can be scary. But they're not going to send you towards nothing that's going to, you know, hurt or hinder you in any kind of way. That's when your faith has to be able to kick in and know, even though you don't see what they're, where they're going, but they're telling you, just keep on going. Just be patient. And I know you give them the side eye because trust and believe. I'll be looking at God and I'm like, look, <sighs> you know, I'll be trying not to, you know, get smart because I'm just like, no, don't do that. They hold your future. So you better be careful what you say. Better be careful with the words you put out there, even though they know you're getting tired. You know, trust and believe when all this is said and done and you see the 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 the, uh, the magnitude of your blessings that are going to come your way, you're going to understand why you had to go through so much hell. Trust and believe that. You know, I, I trust me. I know how you just like tired is being tired and being tired. But you're going through these things for a reason. You're going through these. It just seems like you're going through an emotional roller coaster. And uh, you, I mean, if, as soon as you get over one shift, that boom, they done got you through another one. And you try to go through this one, and boom, they done got you through another one. But look now, how many dark night of the soul, ascensions, spiritual awakenings, and daggone kundalini experiences am I put? You know, am I gonna have to experience until they get finished with you? <laughs> and they're not gonna tell you, but it's just gonna let you know. Hey, I had put you through this one more time for you to get the gist on reason why you had to go through this in the first place but when you finish going through all these trials and tribulations even though you be giving god and universe that side eye you know a you gonna be grateful for the things that they put you through because after it's all said and done and you see the magnitude of your blessings when all these things just start falling at you and you just pray for one thing and they done gave you a gazillion things from that one thing you prayed for you better keep saying thank you that's why i always try to say even though i don't see where you're you know i get visions out of different things and i'm grateful for the things that pop up in my life you know i'm grateful for going through the situations i did because it got me to truly know me on all different aspects being able to respect myself and love myself at all different magnitudes in my life that i never thought i could be able to or didn't even know they existed so these things are getting to let you know the new you the new improved you you know the new reformed person that you weren't able to enjoy or even experience yet because you didn't know 
how far your gift really truly took you until you had to be able to experience all these beautiful things about yourself yeah they may, might be off they may be out out there you know because if there's somebody that's not fully awakened they won't understand what the hell you're talking about they're like oh this person's crazy you know i don't know what you're talking about but whatever is whatever but when you see all the magnitude of the things you had to go through, the shifts and the opportunity, these things will take you so much further than you ever thought you'd be able to realize. Just be gentle with yourself. Be patient. And I know it's hard, Lord. I know it's hard. I'm a Taurus. There is no way. <laughs> I'm Taurus, Gemini, Libra, Scorpio, uh, Capricorn, all these things mixed up, in, mixed up in one with a Leo. Yeah, I mean, that's a lot. That's too much. So, you know, my patience goes a short way. But, you know, this experience has got me to where I have more faith in the universe. This experience has got me to where I had to learn patience and I've gotten strength from all these mystic issues. So this has ran too long. It's already almost close to 16 minutes. So much love to you. Peace and be wild.